Hi all, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. In this video we're going to be responding to a subscriber comment. And really it's about adding a formula from VBA into a sheet. So I've got my workbook open, I've got VBA open, you hit Alt F11, you can get, there, get you there. I am going to just simply copy and paste the code that was provided and we're going to we're going to kind of dig right into it. So um, this was, I, I <laughs> it's funny because I got this comment and I was like, oh, I remember trying to figure this out. It was just ridiculously painful. So I'm going to show you a couple tricks that I use and basically show you kind of what I would do to figure this one out. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to pass a lookup um, into sheet, into cell 11. I'm actually going to change that to cell we're going to change that to four, uh, just so that it, it, it makes sense. Actually, we're, we can't do that. We're going to do that on another sheet. So we're going to add another sheet. The reason I know that I can't do that is because my, uh, my formula is, is pulling uh, from C1, D1, and E1. So, All right, so we're adding a number. We're, trying, we're doing a lookup, and we get an error. We get an application to find or object to find error. And the error, there's a couple errors going on here. So the first one is, is this one needs to not be formula. Now this is probably also going to give us an error. Um, and it's going to give us an error because we've got um, this little uh, dollar sign right here, this little ampersign in here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of rearrange this code so that it's um, specific to uh, VBA. And then after that, I'm going to show you a couple tricks that I would do. Just anytime you're working with formulas, it just makes it so much easier. So if you hold on tight, uh, we're going to fix this up a little bit. So the first thing I would do is I'm going to just go ahead and comment this out. The first concept is, is when you're passing in a formula, Excel just wants a string. So you're just passing in text. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to go equals. We're going to go, um, actually, I know what's going on. OK. So actually, this is correct. That's funny. I just had to stare at it long enough to figure out what was going on. The problem is these are, the problem is those are semicolons and not commas. This actually should fix it. So let's give it a shot, see if it works. Oh, and it did, he did, it is coded so that it goes to sheet one. And it did, and we have an NA there. And the reason we have an NA is because we're not looking for C1, but that formula actually does work. So now let's get to the tricks. Okay, if you have a formula and you're wanting to take, you're wanting to pass it into Excel, the easiest way to do this is go into your immediate window. If you don't have your immediate window, I highly recommend that you have that showing. It's Alt. G, you're going to put a question mark, and all a question mark does is it's you're asking it a question, you're asking VBA a question, and it's going to return that in the next line. Um, you can actually get those errors as well, but the easiest way to do this is just to go active cell, and then you do dot, and then you're going to do formula. Okay, so that's one, and it's going to pass in exactly what that formula looks like. And now I could actually just take that and I could paste that right in. Um, the other thing, uh, just really quick, the reason why this is giving it an A is because there is no, there is no information here. So let's, let's fix this real quick. So we're looking in C1, so we're looking for 100, and we're looking for that in D1 to E1. We're going to do 100 and 100. And that just fixes, now I just have, I have data for that VLOOKUP. So I digress. Anyway, moving on. So back to active cell formula. The other thing that you can do is you can do active cell dot formula, and you can do R1, C1 notation. So um, I have found, I used to always just hard code the numbers and the numerics. I have found that working with the formula R1, C1, is significantly easier. Now it looks a little harder, um, and I will um, I have other videos on R1C1 notation, so you can look on my channel for those for those videos. Um, but this gives you the R1C1 notation, which is the row column notation, which is 
it's easier to code. So anyway, um, that's a quick, quick view on just formulas. Uh, again, all formulas, when you're passing them in, they need to be, we're just going to pass, we're going to pass another one in here. Sheet one dot cells, uh, one comma two, now let's do two comma one. They need to be in string notation. So you could do sum, and you always have to have the equals sum, and this is going to be, let's sum C1 through E1, and if I enter, that's actually going to give me the correct information, except I've got an error, that's weird, oh, it's got to be sheets. So that's going to throw in that information. Now the same thing if I click on this guy and I do active cell formula, it's going to give me that formula and it's going to give me that formula. So those are those are really awesome. I'm going to throw this in the comments so that you have all this code. Hope this is helpful. I uh, hope you enjoyed.